Uh, yeah, yes, uh, we have cases of. Uh, it. We have nothing to hide. It has happened in this county, and I re I remember addressing this issue when I was in Kibwezi sub county, which is one of the most affected sub counties. Our very clear instructions are that we have told our principals and head teachers to give us an update on every girl what contributed to that pregnancy and we are, I can assure you we are going to pursue all those who have contributed to this. Secondly, it's very clear from the government and that's a government policy. Every girl who is expectant or who has delivered will now be allowed back to school to continue with her learning. That is the message of the government. Thank you. The two boys who have temperatures above 37.5 uh, are in stable condition. There is no cause for alarm. The issue has been taken up by our department and we are following up. I actually dub as the surveillance coordinator and my team is already seized of the issue. The boys do not have any signs or symptom and uh, there are so many uh, factors that can cause temperatures to rise so we are monitoring and we are working with the school through the school nurse and uh, we'll make sure all is well and uh, I'm sure I'm even being taught now one of the boys the temperatures has dropped so there is no cause of alarm and there uh, should not be an issue of uh, worrying the public yeah. That we have already discussed with the, we have already discussed that with that with the, with the headmaster. He's actually expecting some tents that he had already ordered, so that will help him in in rearranging some of this. And then the other one is uh, in terms of the dining hall. In fact, most of the schools are no longer using the dan the dining halls. They they are actually now using them as dormitories or as cl or, or as classrooms. So we have also discussed these suggestions with the, with, the, with the principal. So we hope very soon, possibly either today or by tomorrow, this will have the, the necessary rearrangements will have been made in the school to, so that they can meet the one meter requirement. When you get the tents, you are even able to offload some of the students from the classrooms to the tents and then make the classroom to dormitories. Because obviously students cannot sleep outside, but they can learn outside. So you, as you offload some of the classrooms, then you actually create extra sleeping place. So that's what many of the schools have done. And, and we find it very, it, 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 it's actually, you can actually comply with the, all the requirements. We are, we are with us, we are with the, the, county the, the county public health is here with us, and they are following on that. But it can be, it can just be anything. I don't think it's as such, you know, malaria or anything like that. But otherwise the measures are being taken, the necessary measures are being taken and the county government is following up. At certain uh, basic uh, infrastructure facilities have been put in place, like uh, washing, uh, washing points and uh, also that where necessary, uh, the available capacity has been rearranged in the manner that they meet the requirements for preventing the, the spreading of, uh, of COVID-19. So our team uh, of the three PSs, last week we were on Thursday and Friday, we were, in, uh, we were in Machakos County. And today we are in this county and we have already visited uh, three, three schools. And uh, we are observing generally that some effort has been made but there are also a few innovations that can be undertaken. For example, rearranging some of the space that is available in order to, to manage the, the one meter. We appreciate the fact that dormitories cannot be constructed in those few months. We appreciate the fact that uh, you cannot go create classrooms, all of them in those six months or whatever. And we also appreciate the fact that COVID is temporary. And even if uh, it's not temporarily, uh, very soon there will be ways and means, including the vaccine, of fighting it. Meanwhile, we have to continue with our lives. The children cannot continue being at home here and here by here, losing time. They have also to go to school. The rest of us, like everybody else in the world, also 
need to take measures that are necessary to prevent the COVID as we go on with our lives. So what we have done, like in this school, we have gone around and uh, based also on some of the experience which we have by visiting the other schools, we have also uh, recommended uh, a few measures that can also be taken to, to enhance, that can be taken to enhance the spacing, but otherwise uh, the water facilities, uh, the water facilities are there.